I'm Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how to add drums to a track in GarageBand. Now, we don't have a drummer in the studio with us today, so we're going to use the Loop Browser in GarageBand, which has plenty of different drum tracks and loops for us to add to our pre-selected track to show you here today. For this example, we have a loop of a modern rock guitar, which sounds like this. Pretty cool, but we need to find drums that match it. Now, as opposed to filtering through hundreds and hundreds of different drum loops and finding that one perfect one that matches, we're going to use a little trick here. Go up to Preferences under the Garage Band icon here, click Preferences, and you'll see here under the Loops tab under keyword browsing, you'll see a checkbox that you want to make sure is on. It's telling you that it's going to filter for more relevant results. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan the track that you have and limit the loops that are within two semitones of a song key. Go ahead and close your preferences. Once you get back to GarageBand, go ahead and open up the Loop Browser, located here. For this example, we've already filtered our results down to all drums and under Intense. And we selected this Brazilian drum set number 6 for our example here. Go ahead and drag it from the Loop Browser into the timeline, just below. Make sure it's to the front of your song, push it to the left. Move your mouse over to the top right corner until you get this kind of looping back circle arrow. Click it and drag it all the way across to extend the loop across the timeline. Go ahead and back up and hit play. Pretty groovy. And that's how you add drums to a track in GarageBand. Hopefully these search tips have helped you find the correct loop for your track in GarageBand. Otherwise, you can spend hours and hours sifting through them. Thanks for watching.